So hello and welcome back guys. Today we are here with a new mockup, extremely new and this is a tote bag mockup. So as you can see, uh, these are very trendy nowadays. Uh, how you can make one for yourself, we'll just show it to you that and just so you can make it. Uh, no matter if you are not a pro or a beginner or a pro, doesn't really matter. It is very easy for you to copy these steps. So yeah, tag along and uh, before you forget, let me remind you, you can just download the PSG file of all of these mockups um, from the description box. The links will be given below. So make sure to check it out. And also very important thing to notice that all the PSG files here are free, absolutely free. Also, there is a Patreon family that we have to support our little channel. You can go and support us there and please follow our Instagram account. That's a very, very new account. All the links will be given down below. Just make sure to check the description box. Thank you. Now for today, let's start. So the very beginning, as you know, usually we'll take the paint tool and then and then you have to make sure the, the upper part, there is upper part and there is, um, you have to make sure that option is selected in shape. Now we will select the handle. Okay. Just so there is a hand that is holding this bag, we have to select both the handles separately, okay? So first we will do the left hand side, then we will come to the right hand side, okay? Now with the paint tool, I am creating the points as you can see. Then we will take add anchor point tool and then make sure the curves are curved here. And then again. With the paint tool, make sure that you, you are doing the second part of the bag, second handle. You can just do whatever uh, comes to your mind, like first the, whatever you want. You can do the handle or the that. And this is a very easy way that I'm showing. Now let me tell you one thing. You will decrease the opacity. How? If you click double zero from the keyboard, if you press that button the opacity will be decreased this is a shortcut tip make sure to use it when you do the next one now again we will take an anchor point tool and we will make sure that we curve all those places that has the curves now we will adjust the lines no part should be excluded make sure that Make sure that you select all the parts as it is, as the raw object is, you have to select all those parts. And if you do that, your mock-up will be really, really good looking and realistic. Just because um, we are doing it on a stock mock-up. Okay. So what happens is it looks realistic. The stuff photography mockup always looks realistic. So because this is an original picture, right? So after even after you have done the mockup, it will look realistic. So no need to worry. So as you see, one part of the handle has done. With, I'm done with the add anchor point tools. Now we will do the other part. Similarly, just select the curve areas. Now you can just zoom in as much as possible to see that how I am selecting each and every point. No point should be excluded. So as you can see, the handle has been selected. Now as there are two layers, we'll have to name them. The left side will be in left and then the right side will be we will rename it and make it right. This is just so you understand what is what. Okay. Then again, select the paint tool and we will select the body of the bag. Okay. Now we will do this. This will be the part where we add the picture or add the real mocker. Just make sure you leave all the curves because later we will do it. Just make sure you point and complete all the bag, the whole bag. What decrease opacity by clicking double zero. And then for the curve, 
take as many points as you need and make the curves with the add anchor point tool. So I'm saying it again. You can just zoom in the picture and then con you can zoom in with the control plus and you have to make sure that there is no part that has been selected extra or no part that has been left out. Prominent and the proper the selection will be, the better the mock-up will be. So this is the most crucial part of your mock-up. So as you can, you can just press the space bar from keyboard and you can just click uh, right or left on the mouse and move the picture. Okay, to move this picture and keep pressing the left button wherever you want to move. Okay, this might feel a little tricky but you will eventually get used to it. As you can see, I am doing it very slowly, slowly, gradually. So you can just pressing the space bar and clicking the ref button of the mouse and moving the picture to select all the curves that is necessary. You can just move it as much as you want. Make sure you select all these curves very nicely just so you will not miss out any curves or any points even. Not even an inch. And while you are selecting, make sure that you zoom in the picture because we might miss something. To get that precise selection you have to zoom in. Because there are so much curves and textures going on. So. Also, while you are using the paint tool, even while selecting an object roughly, then you also have to zoom in the picture just so you get the proper idea, the proper size. Or else it will be a lot of work for you to again erase those bars, do it again, redo it. So make sure you zoom in while you are doing it. So as you can see, the bag is almost selected. Now as you can see, I'm done. I will zoom out. Then we will press Ctrl and select all these three. And then we will rename them as object ID. This may look complicated, but it isn't. Very easy mockup. So as you can see, I will uh, give four colors for the hangings, and then I will take a pattern or some design for the bottom part. So we will take one uh, smart object for the lower part and two solid colors for the handles. So. For the smart object, you have to take a rectangle, you have to draw a rectangle in the size that your bag is, okay, of the bag. The size of the bag, you have to take, keep that in mind and then right, pressing right click on the layer, you can just convert it to smart object and then decreasing the opacity, press Ctrl uh, T and transform it by pressing, uh, by selecting this out and then Select the parts that is necessary. The whole bag should be covered by pressing this out. Then again, press right after you are done. You can press Ctrl and select the part to select those back part. Okay, to eliminate it from the smart object. But today I will tell you a new way. First, select the shapes layer. Then take paint tool and then right click on the shape. So the shape you want to get first. Click on the shapes layer, take paint tool, then right click on the shape. Then there is option make selection, then press OK. Now as you can see, the selection we had, it will be selected. Then now you will press on the smart object and press on the mark masking option. OK? So as you can see, the bag has been masked. Now I will show you another trick. That is, to select both the handles together, what we will do, we will press Ctrl, left and then again Ctrl, Shift and on the right layer. 
ओके सो कंट्रोल लेफ्ट कंट्रोल शिफ्ट राइट दिस इज द पैटर्न एज यू कैन सी when you press control and shift together there are multiple objects that has been selected just like that our both the handles of the bag will be selected in the same object now we will just change the color of the handle and then with the smart object we can just place any smart uh, picture or a pattern we want in our bag so as this is green color we will go to the mask and we will go to the whole bag control shift and we will select the handle and the body so as you can see the both the parts have been selected adjustments and then go to hue saturation and then decrease the saturation levels make it zero as you see it has been zero and the bag will become white so once unless and until you do not make the objects white and the rawness of the bag is there you won't get the perfect tex texture or the color of your pattern so you can just take uh, any pattern that you want to put and then you just place it on the smart object and save it on the your desktop then it will be updated on your main page and i can just change the color of the handle to match the back now it is about texture now we will add the texture how now we have selected the whole bag control shift and we will click on the mask so the whole bag will be selected Now we will press on Control J and copy three cop make three copies of these layers. You will name it as Light, Midtone, and Shadow, and then we will first we'll take the shadow layer and from normal we will convert it to a linear burn and for mid tone it will um, be so converted into normal to linear to zat from normal it will be linear to zat and they will be normal you have to be uh, selecting things from there in this case you have to go to adjustments levels and then have to change the levels a little bit just So as you can see it is too white so we will adjust it according to our preference how it is looking good the point you think is the right point and looks realistic you will stop there then we'll go to light and then as you can see there's a light uh there and then we will go to scree selecting the same points and then we'll go to adjustments levels and then we will adjust it so as you see we'll have to stop where you find it very realistic now when you are satisfied just press okay and the picture will be updated as usually now the whole mock up is completed and then we'll just go with this three light midtone and shadow and we will name it as effects and the parts those are changeable that is a uh, editable you can just make sure that you can change the part as you want that is according to your preference or the reference of your client we will just make sure that to distinguish it from the parts those are not changeable or editable we'll just color the layers so as you can see this is a tote bag mock up and we are done with it thank you and if you like what you watched Please uh, make sure to hit the subscription button and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.